Today is my lucky day. We are, we're living in luxury now, guys. <gasps> You are love. Recently, a company called Wingham reached out to me to tour one of their RVs. The tiniest, most compact RV I've ever seen. It's so crazy. There is so much in it. It's so luxurious. So I'm actually about to fly to Pennsylvania to go check out this RV with my mom and my little sister. And I am super excited. It's going to be like a little family outing. So. We gotta get going because you know how airports are. You gotta get there six hours early. So the reason we're heading all the way to New Jersey is this is actually a European RV. And this is the only one in the US at the moment. They just recently launched their crowdfunding to bring them here faster because the response here in America has been so overwhelming. But the reason this is such an important day for me personally is because I am taking my mom to see what she has described as her dream RV. My mom has always been an avid traveler from growing up RVing to backpacking through Europe. And I have watched her window shop for RVs for for years, but life has just been too chaotic from the years our family took in foster children and adopted my three incredible siblings to her becoming a front of line worker during the nightmare of 2020. So this is a really meaningful trip to me because this is her dream RV. This has been years in the making and she absolutely deserves it. It has everything she wants and still fits into a normal parking spot. So just walking up to it, first impressions, it is just as small as it seems on the internet. I mean, that is so small. It's like, I think it might be smaller than my van, honestly. So not only is it smaller than my van, it is the smallest motorhome in the world and it still somehow sleeps four people and has a full bathroom Look both ways okay <laughs> so what, what do you guys think oh i love it it's the perfect size i always wanted one that was small that would be easy to drive and easy to park i didn't want one that was really large that would be uh, gas guzzler obviously um but also very difficult to park so this is the perfect size as far as i'm concerned it's like a baby it's a baby <laughs> it's a baby rv <laughs> it is <laughs> come on in This is the Oasi 540. This is great. Perfect size. A um, couple of features as you guys are sitting down. You have a two stove burner, or you can have the electric one you see here. Okay. And the refrigerator will be much bigger. It'll be, it'll take up this whole cavity right here. Every window and door has a little screen door integrated into the system. And also you have a nice sizable bathroom. There's a restroom. Yeah, this that is her favorite part. <laughs> My van doesn't have a bathroom. That's her complaint all the time. And she's always like, well, I can't stay in there because it doesn't have a bathroom. And shower. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect shower. size. Plenty of space. Medicine cabinet, vent. And the vent on top to be able to open up for air to come out. There's out. an outlet so you can, you know, blow dry your hair in there too. Curl your hair. Yeah. The whole nine yards. <laughs> and the toothpaste, toothbrush, what? hair products. And, and you also have more storage cool. under the sink as well. Well, it's not Pokemon themed toothbrush holder. Like <laughs> <laughs> we can change it. No, we can work on it. <laughs> this is the perfect size. So when we go and travel across some of the national parks, to be able to shower without it being. Better. I know you. You love the shower. <laughs> well, and the that's a selling bathroom. point. I know. <laughs> and then for storage in here, for you know, clothing stuff you want to hang up, the hanging closet, that nice deep space in there as well. And you have. Space down space there down as well. It's nice because I feel like in my van I compromised a bathroom for the closet space, but you have both in here somehow and all everything else too. Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. conditioner you're gonna see in my next vlog how much I wish I had an air conditioner down in Tennessee it's so hot there and I really regret not putting an air conditioner in so I I mean I just think now I living in the van I think air conditioners are a must-have you can put foldable chairs foldable bikes foldable bodies would you well, mind if she? <laughs> you want to crawl in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So now people know you can fit your children. One disclaimer that's not meant for bodies. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Your toilet system here. <laughs> Someone else got this job. <laughs> yeah, this is your five gallons. You can dump this in any restroom in America. Oh. All you have to do is unhinge it from here, mm -hmm. dump it, and put the cap back on, and then just wheel it back to your van. Wheel it back to your van. How simple is that? Not having to lug your own. And Whatever's in there. <laughs> Wanna sit on the driver's seat? Or? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel compared to a normal car? It's really comfortable. I love that I'm higher up, obviously looking down because I'm in a, a van versus a car. But for, I mean, we travel every weekend going to different places. Like. And soccer parties after you win all the games. Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, this is a great tailgating <laughs> car. Yes, or at tournaments, just pull this up. And pull it this up, have the awning on the other side, put the chairs under the awning, and you're hanging out. Can you open the awning? If you want me to, I'll show you. Oh my goodness. You don't even think to call me Godfather. We just, I, this is mine now. Like, I don't know if he knows this, but I'm driving away after this. Do I have my permit? No. Do I have a license? No. Mm, it's just like a um, Mario Kart. I have to channel my inner Luigi. He's giving me a key. Oh, I got the seat a little closer. Sit your first so no, no, there's an upgrade that, that will be a digital rear view mirror so when you look at it you'll see what's behind you okay because right now i'm literally just looking into the cabin itself well i know that's why I, <laughs> well, I was looking at angel oh, lucky, lucky you <laughs> So this RV, the Wingham Oasis 540, does not actually hit the market here in America until later this year. The distributor W Motorhome Sales in North America has already received over 200 reservations, representing 30 million of potential revenue. Actually, they just launched their crowdfunding initiative. So if you're interested and you want to learn more about how to get involved in their crowdfunding or owning a piece of this company as they're growing, doing something you're passionate about, whether that's RV life or van life or camping or anything like that, then check out the description and I'll leave a link and some more information there for you to check out. So easy to drive. Very easy to pull out, very easy to drive, very comfortable to sit in. It even takes the hills very easily. How high is the Ten feet, place? two inches. And I drive a car, oh. so I'm not used to driving a big vehicle. And this oh. is really easy to drive. Go. Everyone mm. clap for mama. Grandma, yeah. You did good. <laughs> This does fit, and then just fit all of us very easily. Have your two skylights, and they both have that mosquito net. So it sleeps two, two or can here. you make? Yeah, you can make the bottom bunk, bottom bunk, <laughs> bottom dinette as a uh, sleeping area too. You're gonna pull it out this way. You're gonna step on this button on the bottom. Push. And there's a tour in a second. Oh, Let's take this off. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. We're all... <laughs> Where would Betty sleep? Oh, that's a good question. How would, could a pet be in here, do you think? Well, yeah, so we're um, angel sitting. There's a small little Yes, there cavity. is. So you could... Oh my goodness. Oh, Betty. Yeah, or she'll just get like that bed. <laughs> pull the lever that's under the table. Just turn that over. This whole area to cook. That's amazing, yes. Um, welcome back to the Angel and Tori segment. Join our show. I was enjoying the shade in the awning. All right, so she told me her favorite part. My favorite part is the radiant heat floor. What is your favorite part? There's a lot of favorite parts. I love the size. I love how easy it is to drive. I love how comfortable it was to sit in. Okay, mm -hmm. I love that it has a bathroom. You knew that. Saw that coming, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it fits enough of us. It fits four people to be able to sleep in it. And I'm sure if we could put a sleeping bag right there, Michael could sleep on the floor. So technically it would sleep more than... <laughs> <laughs> we could squeeze. I don't know, I have a lot of favorite parts. <laughs> I know. Hello, and welcome to day two of touring the RV. That's right, 
two days, day two. Um, and today I am really taking it out by myself on a little test drive. I have the keys. Let's go on an adventure. Today we are testing the genuine most important things because, you know, if you're going to be road tripping in this RV, you know, for years to come, you needed to have a great speaker system, right? You know, a bougie van requires the most bougie version of Taylor Swift Midnights. So let's try it out. There's speakers in the back. Oh my God. Okay, 10 out of 10 on that. So what do you think? Does it fit the aesthetic? You know what it needs. This blown up, maybe even the whole door. So automatically one of my first thoughts here is it is very hot. It is a very hot day. Um, in Nashville, I was just in Nashville for a very long time and I loved it, but it was so hot. And I just kept thinking, I wish I had an air conditioner. Today is my lucky day. We are, we're living in luxury now, guys. It even comes equipped with an in-concert microphone for your shower dance party, all right? A sick thing that you like. You can't keep these white eyes on the road. Keep your white eyes on the road, all right? It's a 150K vehicle. We're keeping our eyes on the road. So if you're wondering why I'm not going to re-go over the bed, it's because I don't know how to get it down and I'm too scared to break it. Because as Angel said yesterday, you break it, you buy it. And I... I don't have the money to fix it. So my dream is like to make YouTube videos and to make enough money to buy my mom an RV. And this is like her dream RV. She was talking about it all night. We stayed up until 2 a.m. last night just chatting and she was telling me how much she loves this RV and it's the perfect RV for her and she loves it. So I, I think um, what we've come to the determination is I need to keep working my butt off and buy my mom this RV. That day is very far away. What are dreams for? I used to, you know, I used to think that having 100K subscribers on YouTube was this crazy unreachable thing. And guys, you did that. So thank you so much. And I will see you really soon. I love you. I love you. You are loved. It's true. You are loved. By me. By me. Wow. Just know that I love you. So you better love me back. Because if not, then it's really awkward. <laughs> It's really embarrassing, so please. <laughs> you can say it, okay? Just say it. You don't have to mean it.